In this video, we will discuss the basics of Linux as a tutorial for beginners. Linux is an open-source operating system widely used in servers, desktops, and embedded systems. It comes in various distributions, distros, but the core concepts are similar across all of them. The first step towards learning Linux is installation of it. Installing Linux in a VirtualBox virtual machine on a Windows machine is a convenient way to run Linux without affecting your Windows installation. Here are the steps to set up a Linux virtual machine VM, in VirtualBox. 1. Install VirtualBox. If you haven't already, download and install Oracle VirtualBox from the official website, https colon slash slash www.virtualbox.org. 2. Download a Linux ISO. Download the ISO image of the Linux distribution you want to install in the virtual machine. You can choose from various distributions like Ubuntu, CentOS, Fedora, Debian, etc. 3. Create a new virtual machine. Open VirtualBox and click on the New button to create a new virtual machine. Give your VM a name, example, Linux VM, and select the type as Linux. Choose the version that matches your Linux distribution, example, Ubuntu 64-bit if you're installing Ubuntu. Allocate memory, RAM, to your VM. A minimum of 1 GB is recommended for most Linux distributions, but more is better if you have sufficient system resources. Create a virtual hard disk for your VM. Select Create a virtual hard disk now and choose the VDI, VirtualBox Disk Image, format. Choose the storage type for the virtual hard disk. Dynamically allocated is a good choice, as it only uses space on your physical hard drive as needed. Allocate disk space for your VM. A minimum of 10 to 20 GB is typically sufficient for a basic Linux installation, but you can allocate more if you have space. 4. Configure VM settings. Right-click on your newly created VM in VirtualBox and select Settings. In the System section, adjust the boot order if needed. Ensure that the Enable EFI option is unchecked unless you're installing a Linux distribution that requires EFI. In the Display section, increase the video memory for better graphics performance. Under the Storage section, click on the empty CD, DVD drive and select the Linux ISO file you downloaded earlier. This will allow the VM to boot from the ISO image during installation. 5. Install Linux. Start your VM by clicking the Start button in VirtualBox. The VM will boot from the ISO image, and you'll see the Linux installation screen. Follow the installation wizard to install Linux. The exact steps will vary depending on your chosen distribution. During the installation, you will be prompted to create a user account and set a password. Make sure to remember these credentials. 6. Complete installation. Once the Linux installation is complete, remove the ISO image from the virtual CD, DVD drive in the VM. Linux is often managed through a command line interface, CLI, known as the terminal or shell. You can open it by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T or searching for terminal in your desktop environment. 2. Basic commands. LS, list files and directories in the current directory. CD, change directory. Use CD directory underscore name to navigate. PWD, print the current working directory. MDIR, create a new directory. For example, MDIR my underscore directory. Touch, create a new empty file. For example, touch my file.txt. RM, remove files and directories. Be careful with this command, as it's irreversible. CP, copy files or directories. Example, cp file.txt new underscore location slash. MV, move or rename files and directories. Cat, concatenate and display the contents of a file. Nano or Vim, text editors for creating and editing files in the terminal. 3. File permissions. In Linux, each file and directory has permissions, read, write, execute, for the owner, group, and others. You can use the lsl command to view permissions. 4. User and group management. sudo, prefix a command with sudo to execute it with superuser, root, privileges. user add, create a new user. password, change a user's password. group add, create a new group. user mod, modify user attributes. 5. Package management. Different Linux distributions have different package managers, 
example apt, yum, dnf, pacman. You can use these package managers to install, update, and remove software. 6. File System Hierarchy Linux organizes its file system into a hierarchical structure. Key directories include slash, slash home, slash etc., and slash var. 7. Process Management PS, list running processes. Top or top, monitor system resource usage. Kill, terminate processes. 8. File manipulation. Find, search for files and directories. Grep, search for text patterns in files. Tar, create and extract archives. 9. Networking. If config or IP, configure network interfaces. Ping, test network connectivity. SSH, securely connect to remote servers. Get or curl, download files from the internet. 10. System information. Uname, display system information. DF, show disk space usage. Free, display memory usage. 11. Shell scripting. You can automate tasks by writing shell scripts using tools like Bash. 12. Learn to read manual pages. Most commands have detailed manual pages. Please subscribe this channel for detailed videos on the same topic.